Got a few updates to the Team Drip website that you guys may want to be aware of. Let's jump into this real quick. All right, guys, in this video, I want to give you a quick update on the most recent updates I've done to Team Drip. So you guys are fully aware of what's going on. All right. And I, I'm i going to preface this with how I got to this point of making these updates. And in this video here that I released a few days ago when I started getting security alerts, I'm showing you guys this is what we do. You know, I put some stuff out there and we get feedback from our local communities to find out, hey, what's going on? Is this being reported at other places? You know, who's doing what? And how can we look into this? So we put this out here and you guys can go look in the comments if you want to, it's really not important at this point. But ultimately, getting security alerts like this on the Drip Network and the Animal Farm is not a good look for the drip or the animal farm. Nevertheless, I started getting it. Other people started getting it as well. And what I pretty much determined is that drip and animal farm are certainly under attack because someone went out and reported these websites as being a scam. Okay. Uh, I was able to verify that and I actually got in contact with um, the antivirus systems and I got a reply from both of them. Uh, here's one and here's the other. All right. So they actually removed that from their scam database. So all you guys out there saying I'm footing and I'm hating on drip, bam, you know, I could have left this as it was for sharp wasn't doing nothing to fix it. Ray wasn't doing anything to fix it. But I contacted these companies to say, hey, can you remove this stuff from the scam? Check it out. Make sure it's legit. And if it's legit, remove it from your scam database. And they did it. All right. So that's that. I don't want to hear no noise from you guys talking about he, he, he hating, he hating. No, I'm trying to get drip up and running and don't want it to have a bad image. I just don't want no new capital coming in until you guys fix it. But I still don't want it to have a bad image. All right. So with that, as I was reading through the comments, I noticed a lot of you guys are actually preferring the old UI because when I ran into this alert and posted it here, some of you guys were like, well, I don't care because I'm using the old UI anyway. Well, when it comes to Team Drip, what I've done, I, I, when the alert was coming up, I switched it to start pointing to the old UI. But now that it's back up and running and they've removed the alert, I'm given options. So anytime you guys sign in or want to sign up for an account through Team Drip and you want to use the new user interface, go ahead and do like you normally do and click here. This was going to direct you to the new UI. All right. Still going to have that same buddy address that's displayed here. OK. If you prefer to use the old UI, you can go by clicking this link here. All right. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the old UI. Still the same buddy address, but at least now you guys have options. So if you prefer the old UI, just go down here to this link. You know what to do. If you prefer the new one, just go ahead and click here. All right. The second thing update I've made to Team Drip is um, also going to help you guys out when assessing your download account. So let me go back to this wallet that I created that I self-referred to myself. Okay. Now in this wallet here, <clears throat> um, or in all wallets at this point, what I've done, done is come down here and made the total per level of referrals you have a clickable link and when you click on that it's going to list all of the wallets under that level so as you guys know I created this account and then created another account under that so this is what that wallet address is and sure enough 
you know, if you guys follow my other video, you'll see this is the 95B1 account here, 95B1. And right under that, I created another wallet under this account, 47DA, right? And that's what's showing as my level one right here. All right, so this information right here can be good for you guys in the sense that when you start buying the BR34P tokens, you kind of want to have a good idea of how much drip is on the deposit for the accounts that are under you, right? So if you come out here and just click on this, by just by clicking on it, it'll copy it. And you can go out to what dripnetwork.ca, paste this in, go to faucet, wallets, paste that in and you'll be able to see how much in deposits the people under you currently have so if they only have like 10 drip or something like that and all of them have 10 drip it might not be such a good idea to invest in any br34p tokens unless you just want to catch it whenever it starts coming in right but as this level continues to extend down, that'll give you a better idea on how many BR34P tokens that you do want to have. All right. This is just a little extra information out there for you guys to use and abuse, however you like it. And that's all I got for this one. I'll holler at you on the next. Peace out.